Hey guys, what's up? It's V Chief here. Welcome back to episode 5 of the Trading to Team of the Season Aguero series. If you're enjoying the series, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know that you want to see more episodes of this. So in this episode, we have a ton of stuff. We got some huge packs for you guys. We completed a lot of SBCs, so stay tuned for that. First, let me show you the transfer list here. We did a lot more trading here. We're up to 145,000 coins, you guys can see there, which we might be down from the last episode, but we did a lot of SBCs, so we're going to get some good packs here for you guys. So we did a bit more trading to get our coins up with these marquee matchups players, which if you don't know what that is, um, go check my other videos. And then in my last video, episode four, I did bronze pack method, which is what you'll see here a little bit. And then these two guys are duplicates that I have for the squad building challenges. So, what we did in this episode is we completed some of the advanced SBCs. The last episode, we finished the League of Nation basics. We did all of the basic SBCs. In this one, we have the advanced SBCs, so we did hybrid leagues. So we get a rare mega pack for the whole thing. Mega pack there, so 55, 35, that's 90k of packs, 135k, 15k, 150k, plus whatever a jumbo gold pack is worth. So we've got over 150k of packs to open because we completed all of these SBCs. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this, how you can do it the cheapest, and get a ton of coins. So, here we go, super easy SBC, you need leagues exactly 5, and with this formation it's super easy. So what I did, I just put a strong link on either side, because these guys get full chemistry. I put a league down here with the goalkeeper, center backs, and then I put a league here with these midfielders and someone of the same nation up top. Now a lot of these players are untradeable, tradable, didn't have to buy them. I think I bought like, did I buy anybody here? Let's see. Let's head to the starting 11. Where are we at here? All right. Bought for six fifty nine fifty. So what? We spent nine hundred fifty coins on this SBC, and then a bunch of untradeables and players we already had. So super easy SBC there. We get a jumbo gold pack. We're gonna open all of these at the end. Okay, seven suspects here. This is where the SBCs actually got difficult, and I had to build them as I went. It took me a little bit of time. But here we did get in a lot of players that we already had in the club, like Fernando, AOZ Perez, the CDM here, and this goalkeeper. So we bought the rest of them, I know. And it was really just about getting to the chemistry, and I got up to 90 chemistry pretty easily, and then just had to get the rating, so we threw in some higher rated cards here, like Raul. So for that one, we get a 15k pack. Not a very good pack, but after this, the SBCs... They've got a simple formula, but they're a little more expensive, but this is where the huge packs come. The Prime 9, you get the 45k pack, and this is where I need the players off of my transfer list. So we're going to head over here and get, I believe, Fernando and Otavio, and we're going to send them to the club, and then we're going to head back over to the SBC here, Hybrid Leagues and Prime 9. So for this one... You can have Leagues 9, players from the same league, Max 2. So basically, I just built a full Brazilian team for this. I had some Brazilians in my club already. So you just need 9 different leagues. So yeah, you just gotta... I have the Turkish League in here twice. And I believe that's it for leagues I have. And then the Portuguese League in here twice. So there's 2 players from the Portuguese League, 2 players from the Turkish League... And then all the other players are from different leagues. And then you don't need any loyalty for this one because you can have 99 chemistry. So 11 players, 9 chemistry each, 99 chemistry. The next SBC was the one you need loyalty for. So what I did for this, guys, without having to do a loyalty glitch or play 10 games, is I actually just used, did a French squad and I used the players from my starter pack in... Nanyan and Sanson. They both came in my starter pack, so I used them. They gave me loyalty, so it's two loyalty right there. Then everyone else just had to be on chemistry, and I could leave one person out of position here in Gilavoji. So, that's our full French team. This wasn't too expensive. I accidentally bought one extra player here. We're actually going to... We might as well just keep him, actually. We want to stock the club full, which is what these packs are all about as well. So... 
submit this, we get a mega pack, and then for the whole set, we get a rare mega pack, 55k pack for it. So there we go guys, we're going to jump into these packs, and then after these, we're going to do a little bit of trading depending on what we get in these packs. And now that I showed you what's on the transfer list, we are going to clear it. Again, the special card that we packed in the last episode, if you didn't see it, I think it was the last one, Jao Matinho team of the season, did sell for about 25k, I think. So, here we go, we're going to jump into these packs, we're going to go worst to best, jumbo gold pack here, we're not going to get anything out of this. Hopefully we just get some non-rare players, maybe, oh, we get a rare player, maybe some marquee matchups players, Belgian, center back, oh my goodness, we get 85 rated Vincent Company. You don't see that every day out of a Jumbo Gold Pack. Our pack luck on this account has been nuts. We're just going to... Ooh, wait. Yeah, we'll just sell them on... Honestly, guys, I'm going to wait for the next episode. Because in about 30 minutes, the next footies player comes out. And it could be footies and hazard. Which could re require a high-rated Belgian team to do. So that he could go up in price. So we're going to hold out on selling him. This player, though, is going to go for quite a bit. A German from the Premier League. 2700 is is his cheapest for Schindler. He actually had a decent season, other than, you know, getting relegated, of course. But I remember I'm in a fantasy Premier League thing, and he was getting points like it's nobody's business. And we're, These players that sell for a bunch, we're just going to sell them on, get our coins, the players that aren't going for over a thousand, we're probably just gonna hang on to them. So let's see here again. Another player going for about eighteen hundred. List him up. I doubt this guy's going for anything. Yeah, we're gonna keep him. Company. Let's just see his price right now. He's over ten k, between ten and fourteen. We'll keep him in the club, and then Lustenberger. We're gonna keep. Then the rest of these players will list up this contract just to see if it sells. I know they used to sell. Discard the manager contract. Squad fitnesses will list up for like 1200 950 on bid. Discard that. Discard that. Chemistry styles will keep. Oh, we get a shadow chemistry style. We can sell this for 5,000 coins. We're going to list them for 4,900 just so it sells right away. Why not? And that's it for that pack, guys. That's a big first pack. And we get 15k pack here. What are we going to get inside? No walkout, maybe we get a marquee matchup player, no rare player, so this pack is far worse. Oh, Yarzabal. Didn't that guy, he's linked with Man City, I know that. If Sané leaves, he's supposed to replace him. So I don't want to waste your guys' time right now, it was getting into a longer video, so we're going to sell these players on later. We'll sell some consumables in another episode. Oh, didn't mean to. We want to discard all of these training cards we don't need those and then here we go into the big packs we'll open the 45k pack first the prime gold players pack can we get a walkout we can we have a walkout here is that an orange card it's a man of the match i have no idea is it iago aspas maybe oh it's pedro it's pedro 86 rated now i bet he goes for nothing but this is making this sbc worth it we're getting a lot of coins out of these packs it was definitely worth it to do this hybrid leagues sbc Let's see how much he's going for. He might sell for his discard. That's what it's looking like. We're just going to discard him. I don't think we have any marquee matchups players here. No, so we're going to just stock up the club, get more players in. 170,000 coins there. Easy as that. Mega pack. Let's get another walkout. EA, yeah, give it to us. Oh, we get it. Another walkout. Come on. Another. Don't tell me. Wait. What is this? Is this Jovic, maybe? New transfer, but man, if he was actually transferred on this card, that card's insane. Imagine that was his new Real Madrid club on that card. He would be ridiculously, and an 84 rated player. That's a big pack, guys. There's no way he goes for anything, but wow, that's crazy. A card like this is just above his discard, it seems like. We're going to list him up because he does go above his discard. It's another 16k. We get Jimenez here, who we can probably sell on. Look like 5,500 coins. Um, I know Gignac goes for a bit. We just want to discard this useless stuff before we exit this pack. 
Mega Packs and Rare Mega Packs, I feel like, are just some of the best packs in the game. For some reason, 50k packs just don't do it for me. I don't, I don't know if you guys have the same thing, but they, they're just terrible for me, to be honest. I'd rather have a Mega Pack, it seems like. I know the odds with it are against that, but <laughs> obviously, if I had the choice, I would take a 50k pack, but it seems like the Mega Packs just pay out a lot more. So we're jumping into the last pack here, guys. Rare Mega Pack. Here we go. Give us one last walkout, EA. We do! Three straight walkouts! Here we go. Oh, that looks like a team of the season to me. Yes, it is. Portuguese, center back. Is that Fonte? It is. I believe it's Jose Fonte, yes. The old West Ham man. 91 rated team of the season. He's going to be cheap, but since he's high rated, maybe he'll go for some... Oh. My. Goodness. Look at that pack. That is unbelievable. Can someone tell me what on earth is going on in this rare mega pack? That just doesn't make any sense. That's just not fair. Look at this. We get team of the season Jose Fonte, 90 rated center mid David Silva, and 86 Ralph Farman. Let's just see what they're going for. He's going to be cheap. We're just going to list him up, to be fair. David Silva, again, guys, I'm going to keep because we have the Eden Hazard SBC out. And if that requires an inform, this David Silva will shoot up in price if it needs a high-rated inform. Farman probably goes for nothing, so we're just going to list him up there. David Silva, we're going to keep. We do get an English player, which they're going for quite a bit right now. Let's see... We'll list Jordan Henderson up there. Any marquee matchups players? Doesn't look like it. Wow, guys. What a pack. Drop a like for that pack if you're still watching this video. Because, wow. Three special cards in a rare mega pack. That's unbelievable. Jeez. So, <laughs> I guess we're making huge coins on this, guys. That SBC was unbelievably worth it. We packed three straight walkouts. That pack had three walkouts in it. Wow. This is just unbelievable. So, I mean, we're 13 minutes into this video. We might miss out on some trading in this video, but I think we make up for it in the packs. We pull 88 Rebic, 91 Fonte, 86 Farman, 85 Company, and 90 informed David Silva in this episode. So, I know we've been doing a lot of packs lately, guys, but if you do want to see more trading methods, which I want to start doing so we can get closer to this team of the season Aguero, let me know in the comments. We are getting much closer. I believe he's sitting at 900k still. I haven't checked lately, though. Let's see. Let's set this minimum so we don't get his other cards popping up. Let's see here. 830, 814... We're getting very close. What shows up here? Oh my goodness, he's actually so much cheaper than I thought. Guys, we're getting very close to Team of Season Aguero. Let me set my price range down here. What are we looking at? Oh my goodness, he's under 700k? Ladies and gentlemen, we are, we are in the coins right now. Let's see here. Okay, he, so he's about 700k on the dot. So, we're getting super close to Team of the Season Aguero. We've hit 200,000 coins. There it is, guys. This is what we've packed so far this episode. I am going to go through the club and clear out all these non-rares that sell for a lot. So, I'll see you in the next episode with all the coins we've made from that. So, if you enjoyed this episode, you like the five walkouts we packed, three in one pack, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you're excited for the next episode.